most people are not buying physical copies of things. If they are, it's primarily vinyl and they're buying merch, but they're not buying music. They're buying tickets to your experience and they're streaming your music. Um, and so streaming the actual catalog has is the, the bigger promotional tool outside of pushing people um, to see your shows, buy your merch, and be engaged as a consumer of your brand of music content, whatever that is. Um, and I think the content creator space for artists a lot of artists don't like it. Like they don't really want to do social media like content creators. But unfortunately, some of that kind of comes with, depending on what level of success that you want in today's market, you have to do it to some extent. So the key is really to figure out how to make social work for you as an artist. Um, if you are in a space where you want to grow, you want to um you have specific goals. I also think the the idea of crossing over is different. Like there's different markets. Um, you can be popular regionally and, and be okay. And then you start to kind of grow out of that market and go to another one. But there are so many different markets. I see more, you know, Jamaican artists traveling to islands like Dominica or even going to you know, music festivals in Latin America, and there's the entire continent of Africa. There are so many countries there who love dancehall music and reggae music that we need to start shifting and thinking about what crossover really means and crossing over into other markets because the volume is really in other spaces as well. So, you know, not just thinking about the U.S., although I'm biased, I do want you guys to think more about the U.S. I think we don't have as many interviews from artists. We don't have that that those long press runs that we used to have as a media person. 